Hi, welcome to my system here. We're working on Arch Merch 6.0. We have this new logo here from uh, Christian. And in the meantime, already eight or nine uh, tutorials are online, but let's have some fun as well in the meantime. So Christian gave us this uh, nice logo and I just thought to myself, this happens a lot to me. And something popped up in my head and said, what if and that's uh, this, when everything starts. What if I made this logo and changed it to this kind of red? That would be awesome or not. Let's check it out. So this tutorial is about this uh, changing of the logo. So can we do that and how do we do that? And let's do it. So where do we need to look? We are going to, I have to explain some things here. I have to show you that in the I press Ctrl H uh, by the way. Let's see how I have uh, screen key on. Screen key, voila, so you know what I'm pressing. So Ctrl H is going to hide our uh, hidden folders. So should show hidden files and hidden folders. So there you are, you have this dot config. My apologies for the noise outside. You'll notice that I uh, have some background noise. They're working in my street for the coming months. Great. Good timing of the guys. Anyway, so the dot config, we have it. I just drag it down here and then you have it here as well. And in there you have this conky. And these are the backups if you get the latest conky from the net, which is just by running this one, get latest Arch Merge conky collection from GitHub to local drive. Then it's going to make a copy and you have, that's why I have these copies here. So we are going to look for an image, the image that's uh, created. This is a PNG, meaning it's a transparent uh, image. So whatever it is is not does not have a color, functions like a glass. You look through it, and that's different with a GPG. So the PNG and an SVG. An SVG is the one we want. We open it normally with Inkscape. Everything is set right. If it's not right mouse click open with and you choose your program so i'm going to open it with inkscape and the color may be well let's see if the color is can be changed and is better that's the idea what color i need to know what color this is and there's another program which is called gpic and now i'm in open box and not in xfce but alt f3 and we have the same uh, application finder as in uh, XFCE. So you're saved, no problem. And you go and look for GPIC. And GPIC is a program that you launch and it's on the other screen now. I'm moving it here. So I have already a lot of colors that I've used, as you can see. And this is the color I'm using now for the Arch logo, the Arch Merge logo. And um, well, I have to figure out what this red is. You press on one of the numbers and then it says press spacebar to sample color under mouse pointer. So I'm going to go to a reddish kind of thing. There are light reds, there is even pink. This is more pink than red. So I have to choose what color I like. I like this dark red. It's called Firebrick. Let's see. Oops. I removed everything. No problem no biggie so fire brick right mouse click copy to clipboard is an hexadecimal code an rgb code and an hsl i haven't used that no i don't think i've used it anywhere but this one is the one we need click it's now copy pasted in the memory you go to the inkscape program and there you click on something you can click on elements and then you can say I want to have this in in red. What would happen if I'll take my paint bucket? And then let's see where is my paint bucket? Voila, there he is. And I copy paste this in here. Then it's going to look like this. Mm -hmm. What if I do that the same with this one? And then maybe a little variance, not that's too much, or not. It's up to you. Do you want a variance? Do you want maybe to get it all white? That's also a nice look. And you can go everywhere in between. 
in coloring you can check out what's possible like so but maybe all white is not that bad so imagine this logo being on here okay is that to your liking then you say okay let's try and save this thing so file save as as a copy so this is our Eric version save but this is an SVG so we have saved like I don't know an, a file from Inkscape and now we're gonna export it as an PNG so that's another action we need to take so export PNG where are we going to export it to and what are you going to export so the complete page or the drawing or the selection or custom uh, let's see how big is this thing so I want I want to complete drawing like so no selection whatsoever and then I suppose this page is this one and drawing is the same and selection is going to be smaller as you can see so that's the base size I could check here file document properties and then we see that those figures are the same figures more or less so I really need either of these where I'm gonna put it export S okay it's in the conky images the only thing I want to change now is so this is mine it's a little little bit red here you can see it but the one I want to make now is this one but with the name Eric behind it so I want to have same thing arch merge text CP dash Eric PNG always PNG save so I've renamed it I said put it there when I export it and now I'm gonna export it okay let's have a look now we have this element here PNG if we double click it that's what we're gonna get nice and then uh, well we have to activate it we have to to see it uh, in action so where is this conky this conky has a name in in uh, open box we have here this conky and in xfc you have conky zen anyway you end up in the same program and that's this one click here to get an alphabetic list and it's called am logos okay i'm looking for am logos and the only thing now I have to change is tell them that it's not this one, but it's called dash Eric. Save. Let's have a look. Be amazed. Let's hope. Boom. Nice or not nice. Up to you. Anyway, it's a fun project. And here you go. Have fun changing our logo. Just keep it, uh, well, recognizable. <laughs> Still know that it's Arch Merge. Have fun.